what is it, Momo? Why are you acting like that? What? What? What are you talking about? She just, she just learned her deck. It was quirkless. No, that's not why. Uh, Midoriya. Hmm. Um, what does this mean to you? Just flashing a keychain. As soon as Yuzuka sees it, he snatches it away. Everyone's like, motherfucker, what the hell? It's like, where did you get this? This is, this is mine. Wait. Take a closer look at it. Uh-huh. Him looking at his him in his all my onesies. Like, why do you have this? Is that you? Is he? Is he? What the fuck you mean? Who, who? So, uh, yo yo? Yo yo, what the fuck? Like, so, I. It is you. Excuse me, me and the Rockers are here. <laughs> Care to explain? Well, when I was younger, me and my parents would um, move around a lot, so I didn't have much time to make friends due to business. And I always thought I was going to go into manufacturing, but my quirk as it is. But then. Some jerk just started bullying me for all oh, because of my quirk being so weak. I can only make these little Russian like dolls. Uh, and then this boy showed up and defended me. What? Everyone's looking at Bakugo. I was like, Hey, I bullied a lot of people. You can't just, you can't expect me to remember all of them. <laughs> so, yeah. It, this boy who came to help me ended up losing, but he never gave up until the bully left. And even then, he got up just to check on me. So, yeah, we ended up playing with each other and for a while until it turns out oh, I had to leave again. I didn't want to leave at all. So on my last day, me and him, uh, I used my quirk to make little mementos. Is then. Zuku, he runs out of the room. Everyone's thinking, wait, what? Where'd he go? Momo's thinking, oh, I, I just ruined everything, didn't I? Looking down in the dumps and everything. Then as soon as he shows back up, he flashes his keychain of a younger Momo. And then as soon as he put them together, the like, don't forget me. So, uh, I haven't seen you in so long and look at you now. You've changed so much, Momo. What happened to Yo Yo? I, I, I prefer you call me that. Mm. Yo Yo? Is Momo. Overcome with emotion, just hugs Izuku, just crying about how much she misses him and how she actually has tried to get into touch with him. The thing is, they never got any form of contact information afterwards. So upon realizing this, you were the one that got away. What? Momo finally going back to her senses as she pushes Izuku away in embarrassment. Again, Oraka. 
very pissed. Is that everyone is looking at Izuku and Bakugo? Just God damn it! How many more of you do did we know in the past? Uh. Then Froppy raises her hands like, "There was this kid who would, who I remember when I was uh younger." Rocco just looking back. <laughs> Sue, not you too. Don't do this to me. My heart can't take any more of this. It's like, I'm sorry, but he was the nicest person ever, and I told him how I feel about my lack of expression when it comes to, you know, my quirk. He comforted me. Maybe not feel so awkward about it. Oroko looking back at Izuku. <sighs> Who else did you know? Is yeah. <laughs> one by one. Everyone. Except let's say Ida. <laughs> and Todoroki. Ida and Todoroki are the only ones who didn't meet Izuku beforehand. The girls and guys cared a lot about Izuku, especially when it comes to the way he would make them feel better about their quirks. When it comes to Odro, he never thought he could be a hero because of how useless he saw his quirk as. When it came to Hagakure. All she is, is invisible. You can't really do much with that. It's not really flashy or anything. I mean, yeah, you can't see her, but then she has to be completely exposed, which made it very uncomfortable for her. One time, she was running out in the rain when she first met Izuku. Him using the outlines of her just, like, uh, You'll catch a cold. Him just surrendering his favorite All Might jacket. Yeah. And this is when they were around middle school age. Like, and every, all of them just tackle Izuku to a hug. It's not, it's not nice. Is cruelty <laughs> that Oraga even remembers someone uh, a little, you could say, bro broccoli headed child? Yeah, she she remembers seeing Izuku when he was younger. How he would love seeing the hero fights, the parades, and everything. When he was a kid, not to mention, uh, you know how Oraka likes Mochi. Izuku, upon actually seeing her, him coming right out of the Mochi shop, actually gets extra just to get to her. <laughs> that one act of kindness. When she asks, her, what's his name? You say, uh, before he can get, before he can just surrender his name, Inko called, and he had to leave. So yeah, almost everybody in one A knew Shizuku ahead of time, and though they have seen some similarities between him then and now. It's the whole fact that they know he was quirkless. Oraka, she is pissed, but also happy to see that Izuku is doing all right. But it's the fact that he's he's known by others in their class. 
In fact, she's right now, she's scared as all hell, wondering what, who else might have known him. Only time will tell. I can tell you that right now. Only time will tell. Because I can have so much fun with this. As the day is ending. Izuku, tired of all the nonsense. After all going through all that crap, he's like, I'm just going to go to bed. This has been a lot more than what I was expecting. But as he looks back at all the girls, he's like, ah, It's good to see they're doing alright. I was worried. Him yeah, just walking off. And that is how that day fully ends. Oraka, she stays up with the girls, just looking them down. I know we're friends and all, but I am pissed off at you guys. What, what do we do? You, you guys know I like Izuku. No, we didn't. I mean, Mina's just raising her hands like, I had a hunch. I, I, there was a chance that you liked him. I, I just banked on that. And regardless, you, you hugged him in front of me and everybody. Okay, this, that may be true. But that's because I was just overwhelmed with emotion. Yeah. I bet I bet you were. Even just feeling uh, uh, he you talked about me hugging him hard, but what about you? <laughs> Listen, I'm sorry, okay? Let's let's um, not worry about it. He was my first love. He was ours too. All the old girls just like racing their hands, like we loved him too. Jiro, who was actually self-conscious when it come, came to her quirk, yeah, it's this whole thing now. The worriedness, it's like on one hand. We want to support Oraka. On the other hand, we can't deny how we feel about Izuku. So, they don't know what to do here. What the other do is they're pretty much like, So, you were one of our, you were a bully. Yes. And... You don't remember us at all. You don't remember bullying us whatsoever. Oh, I didn't give a damn about no extras. Bakugo, you can't keep calling your where your classmates too. Whatever. All that matters is that you don't get in my way. Just because I learned that we knew each other in the past. Doesn't mean Jack. I just if anything that means I have even more reason to to beat you. Uh, <clears throat> Seriously, you're just a jerk. I know. And yeah. That's how the rest of that time ends. Up till Christmas! Which... It's... Not easy for Izuku. When it comes to the girls and... Yeah. The, the guys just like talking to him about his quirk as well as... Catching up. Just trying to get more into the back stories. While... The girls, or at least Mina, as well as Hagakure, getting more bold 
She say there are a lot more mistletoes than there should be around the dormitories. As there were some awkward situations in which Kirishima and Deku were under one, but Kirishima just settled for a manly hug, luckily. But when it comes to Eri, yeah, that's. Deku wants to spend more time with Eri. He's just worried about what the others are going to do with him around. Anyway, yeah, Eri Claus is still adorable, as always. It's if it's just, he's just trying to avoid pretty much all the girls he can out of fear for what they might do, given the chance. And then, we come to the hero assignments, where, yeah, it's the same. And since it's still the same Bakugo and Todoroki and Izuku, yeah, they're, they're doing their same thing. Only thing is, with two new quirks, Izuku's going to have to train a lot more harder, especially when this pretty much means he's going to get more. So... But because of Black Whip, it's a lot more difficult for him to actually you utilize. I would talk about the whole, you know, interviewing thing, but with Midnight and Round Lady questioning Izuku about his quirks, it's too much for Izuku to really handle. But, when it comes to the whole training with Endeavor, learning that, wait, you have a fire-based quirk as well? Yes, explosion. Oh, like the angry Pomeranian. I mean, Kachan, whatever his name is. Yeah. Oh, very well. You should be... A uh, great hero one day. Wait, you have more than one quirk. Yes. How many do you have? Right now, I have three. Really? Yeah. Do you plan on awakening any more? No, I, I really hope not. Hmm. Very well. I would urge caution upon using these quirks. Y yeah. As when it comes to yeah, all the hero work they're doing, it's a lot easier, especially with Izuku's tactical uh, mind and such. And <laughs> Bakugo is beyond Wanting to kill Izuku for utilizing his quirk so much better than he is. Because Izuku's plans... Yeah, they, they are pretty damn cool. But now, we get to Oraka as well as Sue's little uh, time with Ryoko. It's kind of interesting when you think about it. With all the girls knowing Izuku and admittedly liking him, it was like a widespread confession. All they can hope is that no one else remembers. No one else learns about them. the fact that Izuku used to be quirkless. If they do, there is a chance that Izuku met them beforehand. So they're trying their best to keep the secret of one for all to themselves. As well as thinking about, okay, so how are we going to really move forward when it comes to Izuku and everything? Um, we, we don't know. Well, you like him, don't you? Yes. Hmm. But who likes him more? Them being, like, 
We don't know. Wrong answer. Ugh. If anything, it seems like you're still trying to be friends here. You see, you, what you should have said is that you liked him better. Or, Sue, you could have said that you liked him better. You liked him more, you know. But you said you didn't know. You're still seeing as the other girls as friends, not rivals. What? Yes. They are your rivals when it comes to love, and you must... Well, don't do no little damn dirty shit, but you must find your, a way to set yourself apart from the others. Are you prepared to do such an act? What are we going to have to do?